guys for this um, this term's topic scented garden we are going to draw leaves so these are just a few that I've just picked this morning out in the garden so there are still some good leaves out though that have stayed with us all through the winter so what we're we going to do is look at the patterns on the leaves um, so look at the veins on the leaves so you can see all the pattern work and you've got these ones you can see the patterns there and you can see all the colours that are changing so we've got dark greens, mid greens, light greens like yellowy colours um, the best leaves that I find for doing art lessons for our art lessons is um, ivy now this is an ivy leaf um, and they are great for doing art um, a neighbour of mine has it, has it and it all grow, keeps them growing through the fence at the side of the house um, but shh, don't tell them but it really comes in handy for all my art lessons so I don't, don't mind a bit of it coming through um, but they're great because we can add glue to these and they just don't crumble or anything they're, they're, they're brilliant um, so what we're going to do is have an ivy leaf I think that's best um, and we're going to draw the veins all step by step and try and add a little bit of shading into it okay so what you're going to need is let's move these to the side when you're on your walks and your travels you can grab some um, spare leaves because we're going to need them for um, next week's lesson but um, yeah have a look around to see what you can come up with so what I would do you need a pencil sharpener keep a sharpener handy your rubber and white piece of paper and just put your leaf in front of you now this is going to be a bit difficult for me because I'm drawing this sideways on but we'll have a go um, so you're basically going to put the stem in now what I would say is don't do this um, one of those incy wincy little drawings in the middle of your paper you've got all this great big paper so make it as big as you can possibly go okay um, that is going to be um, much better for you to get a lot more detail in okay now when we're drawing this you can see the outline I know this leaf's not flat so it does make it a little bit more tricky but you can see that when we go around the edges it looks like happy face sad face shapes and that's what we're going to use so when you're drawing it look at it and see if it's a happy or a sad face shape and that's going to make it much easier for you guys to um, just to draw it okay so I want you to follow me and then what we're going to do is you're going to start drawing some leaves on your own so you really must pay attention and have a go so what we're going to do is this comes up into the middle then we're going to draw this it comes down to a happy face it comes down and drops down bring it round now mine's not going to be totally accurate but we're going to try it the best we can do okay we're going to come in a little bit for a sad face out for a happy face and round so we're just getting a bit of that crinkled edge in okay then we're going to come round happy face sad face happy face now you can see with the ivy leaf let's get a flatter one here um you can see it start goes off into three sections so it goes one point that's section two and section three this side so you can see it's like almost like a triangle shape you can see there we've got like this triangle so we've gone out when you get to your widest part we need to start making this side come in so if we've done our happy face sad face happy face now we need to start bringing this in for our triangle okay the point of our triangle is going to be above our stem so if you need to what I would do Put a little dot up here okay so I've lined that up made sure my paper's nice and straight either side um, I could come over a little bit more let's rub that out so I don't get confused and you can make sure that your your um, leaf is going to be a triangle shape okay right so 
let's go back to this let's go back to this so we're going to come in sad face happy face now it's quite wrinkly at the top my leaf let's get the right leaf in front um so i'm just going to break this down really simple happy face sad face happy face sad face now as you see we come to the top and we've got a nice pointy bit at the top and it curls off so we're going to bring that round for a sad face over okay there's my middle but we're going to go to the side of it and we're going to come back happy face sad face and it comes down into it a bit of a point comes round for a big sad face shape like that then we're going to come down happy face like that come out for a triangle i'm going to curve that just a little bit more I'm not happy with that shape a little bit better not much um then we're going to come round happy face come round for a sad face i'm watching the leaf and not watching what i'm doing round happy face sad face and we've got a few bumps around and a big happy face and bring it back up to the center okay so now we have our outline of our leaf okay now we need to work out and get to do the main veins so i'm going to work on one half of the leaf and then you can copy and do the other half by yourself okay because i don't know if i'm going to have enough time um, so what we're going to do is get this vein here um, from the stem and it comes up uh, straight, pretty much straight so it comes up and comes off into there now you might try and draw I'm just going to try and angle that really quite hard drawing this side view um, so draw lightly first I would say um, it's going to make it um, a bit easier okay then we're going to come down for the second one now you've got to draw two lines for the vein because you have two lines two sides and you're going to come down down and keep it really slow we don't want it too thick we want it fairly small okay then you can see we've got these side ones okay so let's do let's do this one near as me we've got this main one coming up here and that wants to point to that point so we need to get to that point so it comes up goes about halfway then has a little bump in it and then it comes out and it stops just before the end now we put the other side in let's put the other side in okay and then we're going to cut then it has some side branches it's just to show you how to do this so then it goes out To the side back and then it goes to this side now when we do um when you get leaves they tend to go like this um branches so if we've got um, a leaf like this say that's the vein the veins tend to go like this you know don't really get looking at this and looking at them um, you don't get a vein it goes like that they never ever touch they are staggered okay so you'll get one like that go up get one there go up one this side up one that side so this is wrong oops that way and this is right okay so this one we're going to bring it out and this comes slightly lower it comes up and then we're going to go down like that 
at the top here these go even smaller so then they break off a little bit more so then we can bring out some that go there actually let's do these ones single because I think they're finer and I think for you guys that's going to be um, that one's going to go into a point that one and we can do some side ones coming off. Remember, we've got to keep that staggered look. Oh, where am I? I keep on losing myself. Where am I? There I am. And then we go there. And then we go there. Sorry, I keep forgetting about my fingers. Hopefully I'm not in your way. Sharp my pencil again. Just can make sure it's sharp. And then we've got these side ones, and we're going to come out. And we're doing wiggly lights. Okay. And then these can sort of these all go off into like branches. It's very much like um. Very much like a tree. And we get branches of a tree. And they go off like this. Very good practice when we draw trees. Okay, so then we got our veins like this. Next, we're going to come up. We're going to bring this one. This one comes down here. And then we got some branches coming off. Over. We're not going to try and do every single one. I think for you guys that's going to be really, really hard for you to do. So we're just going to um, try and simplify it as best as we can. Uh, so the next one I'm going to do is come it's up right up here. And we go there. And that goes off into a really thin one. Sides and side ones. Like that. And then one more. On this side, let's see if we can get one more in. And then stagger that one up there. Okay. This main one has a few extras coming off it, but I think I'm going to leave that. Um, we might add that back in in a minute. Um, I might just put one up there and one on that side. Right, what I'm going to show you is another one. I'm just going to add that one in because there's a big gap there. So then what we're going to do is add some shading. Okay. Right, for our shading, I'm going to try and add some of this curling. Okay. Right, let's go. Ooh. I always get nervous on this bit. So we can do some light and dark tones. So what we're going to do is practice the flicking, what I call the flicking technique. So when we do the flicking technique, I don't know if you, I did this with you at all or not. Um, we go, imagine this is a line. We flick, lift up, go back to the beginning. Flick, lift up, go back to the beginning. Flick, lift up, go back to the beginning. Lift up your pencil, go round. So all you're doing is going round like this with your pencil. Touch the paper, lift up, go back to the beginning. Touch the paper, lift up, go back. To... And then you can practice it at the side. We can cut this out um, later. So if you go right to the edges, not up close to your leaf, but go right to the edges um, and you flick. You can practice. Lay your pencil virtually down so you're using the side of your pencil and can you see it and then I can go darker compress down really hard and then I can get lighter and I can get really light and I can open up the gaps but what I like and what you'll notice is we get this beautiful fluffy edge and in this occasion I don't like when you do fluffy edges when you're drawing but on this occasion, when we're trying to do this sort of shading, we get this beautiful, beautiful edge. And that's what we want to create when you're doing your picture. So on our, this picture, we're going to go and do something here. So we're going to flick down from the vein. Flick, lift up, flick, lift up. Down to the next vein. 
and you can do it as a slight curve so if we do it as a curve like this so you're doing sad face curve or you can do a happy face and we can change the direction so we're flicking down so we're doing this shape okay so we're just going to go all the way along that line okay curving that way and then what we're going to do is we're going to come a different direction now so then we're going to come oh i'm going to come so we've done that way now we're going to go diagonal this way okay only up from the bottom Oh, this is going to be a challenge today, doing it this way. Okay. It's really hard doing it sideways. Um, the next bit we've got is some shadow here, going down here. I'm just picking out what I can see at the moment. So we're going to curve this side as well. If you do all of it curved or add a slight curve in, it just makes it look um, like there's some movement. So we're curving down on that one. Then, hold on, let me twist myself around so I can see. Along this line, we're going to go sideways. flick along that way so we change so you can see what I'm doing I'm chopping and changing my directions where I see the darker colors and so this one is going to come uh, I can't get the angle oh, I'm going to twist mine slightly so we're going to come up onto this branch and we're going to come down And flick down. Sorry, I've got to twist it a little bit, guys. I've lost that vein a bit, so what I'm going to do is darken that vein up. Okay. What you can do as well, when you go back over it, you can darken the veins over. Make sure they've got a nice, clean edge. And you can see there, I've got that nice, clean edge. Right, where's another dark shadows we got? Right, we've got some coming in this way, some going this way this time. So then this gets really small. I'm just going to bring that round underneath. So that's like a happy face direction, so we're doing this way. Bring that back in. Okay, um, next one, Actually, I'm going to move this down here so I can see the light a bit better, I can't see it's cast into the shadows, and then we're going to come, let's go into this direction, so we've got some of this going sideways. Go over that dark a bit and then I'm going to change it and come down. Go back over those veins, make sure we don't lose them. Don't want to lose them. Okay, so what you're doing from your leaf, let's just check my time is um, just creating changing angles and looking for the darker parts of the green so 
So let's go curve over this one. And then curve into that little bit. And curve down. So you can see that we're getting a, a nice shape coming. Let's go down on this one. Okay. You can see how I'm starting to build this up. Flick over from the middle. I'm just going to make this slightly bigger at the top. Making sure we try and keep it nice and smooth. Okay, so you can see the build up of what I'm trying to do. What I might do on show you this on the stem is we're going to do sad faces going this way. Sad faces over the heart. Just down one side. So we've got a little white bit there. So, um, that side. And then we're going to build this up um, even more. So we can go from this side down. Okay, and then we're going to go, I'm going to change and go this way. Um, then we're going to go this way and go over here. And do happy face. Third face coming in that direction. Okay, oh, mine's changing all different directions. If I look this way, it's uh, sideways, it's looking one way. And if I turn around the other way, it looks totally different again. So I do please excuse what um, I'm doing. Light's changing. So we can add some darker tones. So I might add this darker and coming into there. These ones could go over, I could make them darker. Okay, so this is just like um, an observational drawing. Um, just looking at the light and the dark. And where you think you see the darker bits of green. When like, but it is quite a challenge, and uh, it's just like where the leaves curving and bending that you'll you'll find it. Um, remember for this bit, I'm just going to sharpen again. Just keep the um, tip of your pencil. Try and keep that. Um, nice and sharp okay so 
so you can chop and change those directions so we're going to come up to the top this is just like one half so I might could put a black vein in there Um, and this is really curving over this side. So it's going to go dark. And curve a side face. Sorry if my hands are. In the way, guys. So just put that line back in. Okay. So we, you can see how I am. Just. in this shape okay so that gives you one half of what you can do you're going to mirror and do the um, second half so I shall leave the pitch uh, leaf here um, so you can see that leaf and you can freeze the screen and you can zoom in and see where the veins are so what I might just do try and flatten this down a bit So you can see that side. Um, you're going to mirror up the other half for me and try and do the veins and look for your dark and light, light bits. Um, and then I'll do another video. In a, um, and what we will look at is um, trying to do the leaves. But instead of using um, pencil in dark and light, we can use colouring pencils in the same way okay so um have fun with this guys please upload your videos onto the onto the classroom so that i can see them otherwise i can't mark them okay thank you guys um see you soon bye